I'm sorry, Annie. Don't be mad. It was best to keep it quiet. Moreover, I did this not only for the company, but also for your sake. I contacted Alan. He told me when and where would he meet up with Morgan. I went there ahead of time and had someone hide a recorder there. Even though you got some evidence, I don't think we can do anything to Bonwijin. You're right. Morgan thought he was being clever. He asked to meet by a pool because he thought no one would notice they were chatting together there. But he forgot. Nobody knows the art of war better than we do. What? We? All right, all right. He explained himself. So, everything's clear? Don't be mad at Ziyang anymore, huh? Come on, don't be mad. Oh, Bo, your lunch is on me, okay? I don't have time now. I've got a lot of things to do. I'll excuse myself, Mr. Tong. Hey, then how about dinner? Annie. <laughs> what are you still standing here? Go catch up with her. I'll see you next time, then. Young people. <laughs> oh. Hi, mister. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me, are you Mr. Ma? Huh. You want to go on a trip? Let's go to my office. Oh, no. Oh. I've been waiting for you. I'm actually Tanya's dad. I'd like to have a talk with you about her situation. You're her dad? Yes, that's right. Oh, so why are you here, huh? Your daughter's caused me enough trouble already. Wait, Mr. Ma. Tanya. What has she done? Don't you know? She had a simple job, yet ended up getting our company sued by our client. What's wrong with her? I never should have hired her. Oh, hold on, Mr. Ma. Listen, perhaps there is some little misunderstanding here, huh? Really? Yeah. Why the hell did she say nonsense to the judge earlier, huh? Oh, since you're here, help me out. Don't waste more time. Take Tian Yue to the hospital. Have the doctor check her head out. And then we'll tell the judge she suffered a concussion, which she says doesn't count. We'll say, oh yes, we'll just say your daughter is crazy. How dare you say that? Don't say such things about my daughter. She is. It's her fault if we close. Hey. Check the inventory, don't miss anything, okay? When the customer orders again, check if we have enough stock and then arrange the delivery. Manager. Yeah? Go handle it, Joe. Mm, okay. What's up? I need to take a day off. Why is that? <sighs> Tell me what it is this time. I need to go to court. Again? You'd better resolve your issues quickly. Otherwise, we'll be forced to let you go. You're wasting everyone's time. Court's in session. Your Honor, today I submitted a video as evidence. Could you please play it now? The video that I submitted was recorded by the camera inside the bus. I believe after you watch it, you'll be able to make a just ruling on the case. Plaintiff, they request this video to be played. Do you agree to this? Your Honor, my client <laughs> agrees to see the video. Okay, start the video now. You have no clue, you're not locals. Oh, right, the driver is local. He must know, I'll ask him. Hey, hey, hey! Stop Chisho. it! Stop that! Stop that! That's very Knock dangerous. it off! Hello? Don't bother me! Stop it! Excuse me! Oh my Don't God! Don't bother him!
，江山。I withdraw the lawsuit. Taeyue! Where are you going? Please just leave me alone. You're an adult. Why are you acting like a child? When will you calm down and behave sensibly? Come with me. Dingkat! Let go of me! Stop!
Now you're afraid of death. If you want to die, I'll die with you. Tinya, have you thought about your parents? Have you thought about me? I love you. Say, eat up, you Dingkai. two. Eat up. Dinkai. Uh, you helped my daughter a lot. Thank you so much. A toast to you, okay? Here. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Huh? I can't drink. Dad, there's a ship regulation that he can't drink. Oh. Don't worry, sir. I'll drink juice instead. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Dinkai, you flew to that island to find that video. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks. It's what I should do. Right, dear? I'm curious. How did you find that video? Don't worry about that. All that matters is that you're okay now. Hmm? Oh, Dingai. Have some shrimp. Come on. Have a taste. Thank you. <laughs> Tenya. You have some as well. Have some shrimp, I huh? can eat myself, thanks. <laughs> you should eat more. Mm -hmm. oh, um, Tanya. Mm -hmm? I wanted to ask you something. What's up? Um, do you remember a friend of mine found you a job? So I'm thinking that, since your current job at City Shop is so tiring, why don't you resign and try a different job? Mm, a different job where? Oh, what it's called. Do you... Jupiter Limited Liability Company. Jupiter? Yes. What line of work? Well, I don't have too many details, but it's a medium-sized firm. Yeah, he said, um, 200 employees. And it's a joint venture, um, a joint venture between Singapore and France. Sounds like a company. Uh, are you sure they'll hire me? Come on, don't be silly. You should have more confidence in yourself. Yeah. And confidence in your dad. If your dad's friend is doing us a favor, you will be hired. Right. My dad is the best. What do you say, Tenya? Will you give it a shot? Uh, okay. Have some food. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Guys, I brought coffee for you. Wow. wow thank, thank you. you. Of course. Thank you, Zi Yang. Thank you. It's my pleasure. What happened? Thank you. This one's hey, yours. Something happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. Come on. Look at that happy smile. You've got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think too much. Uh, I'll go get delivery. Uh, I'll go with you. Uh, I need more water. <laughs> Annie, I brought you a milk tea. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm dieting. <sighs> You're in perfect shape. Why diet? Every woman in the office is jealous of you. You don't need to lose weight. Let's go have something good for dinner tonight. What would you like? Don't you have anything else to do? Can't you see I've got a lot of work to do here? Hey, don't be mad. You know that I always make time for you. But I have no time. You have no time? Then I treat you to dinner when you're free. What will you finish working today? Tell me whenever you're finished, and I drive you home. I really have no time today. But you will still go home and sleep, won't you? When you're finished the work, remember to call me. It's dangerous to go home alone at night. Wang Ziyang, mm -hmm. I think we need to make something clear. Both of us are grown-ups, so what happened yesterday doesn't mean anything. Got it? Mm hmm Is that all? Our relationship isn't that intimate. We're just friends. Yeah. I know you and I are friends. <sighs> Annie, I understand what you mean. You think one way about us, but I think differently. I like you. Whether you accept that or not, you can't change the fact that I like you. So no matter what, when you finish tonight, don't forget to give me a call. I won't worry as much if I drive you home. Also, don't forget your milk tea. See you. My name's Tianyue. I'm 24 years old. I... I see that on your CV. Tell me again. Who recommended you? <gasps> well, never mind. You graduated two years ago. I'm curious. You don't have any work experience since then? I... If not, you're not suitable for our company. Could I work as an intern? Our company has strict requirements for interns. What's more, you're not a student now. Sorry. Thank you. He said it's a, a joint venture. A joint venture between Singapore and France. Right. A stock split. After the accident, the Blue Star had a stock split. It was partly owned by Kuala Lumpur Trading Company, but they sold all their shares afterwards. I found the original document.
Send me a photo. Why do you want it? Zi Young. Are you free tomorrow? I'll go play basketball with my friends. You want to come? I don't know them well, so I'll pass. Come on. They're really nice people. They work in the freight industry. Don't worry. I think we have a lot in common. Really? All right. See you tomorrow. Dad, I've got everything prepared for the summit. Hmm. See? So now that I've finished this, can you tell me what you'll do with Bonwegian? I will do nothing. You'll do nothing? Hmm. They cost huge losses to our company, but you won't do anything? In the last decade, the cruise industry developed rapidly. It has already entered a new phase. This industry is a customer-oriented industry. If we want to do well later on, we just need to make sure our customers are fully satisfied with us. So customer satisfaction is the cornerstone of our sustainable development and our key driver. We should not be so short-sighted and attack our competitors to gain some benefit. That's not the right way to get ahead. Actually, I have been thinking about organizing a special activity with the aim of improving the quality of our service. I want every single passenger taking one of our cruise ships to feel like they're being treated like family and feel the experience is worth the price. Annie, this is an excellent idea. Remember our greatest enemy is actually just ourselves. In this industry, if we want to enlarge the market, we can't focus so much on each company's market share. This is actually what I'm going to talk about with everyone at the summit later. But aren't you afraid this approach will give our competitors a chance to strike us once again? Will the head office agree? Mm. Market competition is not always purely about gaining more profit. You have to get inside your competitor's mind and then use their weakness to effectively control them. For example, there are two companies fighting with each other for a deal. If they do whatever it costs to defeat each other, in the end, it's highly likely that both of them go bankrupt. But if they're willing to sit down together and share the market together, a win-win situation is possible. Annie, there are many things to learn in this world. We have to be farsighted and not too narrow-minded. You got it? Feels great to exercise and sweat a bit. You disappeared for a couple of days. Where did you go? I went to Kuala Lumpur. Seriously? Don't tell me it was for Bakute. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I've been communicating with Eric's nephew. Eric's nephew? You mean the person who wrote to Derek, which then got him kidnapped? Yes. I think he knows the true reason my dad died. But... But what? I feel this person's kind of strange. Strange how? I've asked to meet him several times, but he refuses. That's not that strange. Maybe he thinks it's nothing to do with him, so it's pointless to meet. But he doesn't act like an indifferent person. He's been helping me secretly. How did he help you? He told me to check the packing list. He said that this might be a clue. That's why you went to Kuala Lumpur. I brought it with me. Take a look. He wants a photo of it, but I haven't really confirmed his identity yet. Should I send him a photo? What can you find from this list? I wanted to ask your friends when we were playing basketball, but there are too many people, so I just gave up. Since you're not sure about his identity, then... Don't send him a photo yet. Let's research ourselves. Perhaps we'll be able to find a clue ourselves. How can I help you? Just tell me. 
Let me see. So you mean before I know the identity of this person, I should... do nothing? Mm-hmm. Obviously, this person knows you're very concerned about this thing and this piece of paper. However, you don't know his true identity. Is he lying to you? And why did he contact you? Don't be impulsive. It's best to be cautious. Sorry, my mom's calling. Mm. Hey, mom. My, my. The apron strings have finally been cut right. You're back in Shanghai, but still don't come home. I don't know how to discuss your job, but there are other things you could talk to your mom about. I was very busy for the last few days. <laughs> I know exactly how busy you are. You think I don't know you're on vacation right now? Don't you fool me anymore. Come back home quickly. All right, mom. I'll go back home now and have dinner with you, okay? I'll leave right now. Good. See ya. Mm -hmm. <sighs> My mom's waiting for me at home. Go ahead. All right, see ya. Say hello to her for me. Sure. Bye bye. Thanks. Mm. We should meet. I have some questions to ask you face to face. It's okay if you don't want to share the photo. And there's no need to meet each other. Hi, Eric. I'm Wansel Yell. I finally found you. This is the key to my house. Just go there. Put everything inside the desk drawer in the living room. The inventory list is at the bottom of the drawer.
Just leave the house after you find it. That's all I can do for you. If you got it, why come back? Because I think there's something wrong with the list. Tell me everything that you know. No idea. Impossible. You've been hiding it for so many years. There must be something that you know. You're not the only person that I could ask. I know about your condition from the nurse. Are you planning to die with the secret? It's all in the past. Do you know how many people died and how many families were destroyed because of the accident? This can't bring them back. But you owe them the truth. Anyway, thank you. If you change your mind, let me know. Wait. This inventory list may not be enough. Go and find the original packing list. Don't fool me anymore. Come back home quickly. All right, Mom. I'll go back home and have dinner with you, okay? I'll leave right now. Good. This is Annie. Annie, you've got a package. Could you sign for me? I'll get it later. I can't. It's valuable. You have to sign it for yourself. Seriously? Why must I sign in person? Where is it? I'm busy. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Miss Annie Chen, here's your delivery. Please sign here. Don't you know I've still got a ton of work to do? What the hell are you doing? I know that you're busy, so I came to give you a break. It's cake time! Come on, everyone, have a piece of cake. Here, Whoa. these are yours. Oh, wow. oh, thanks, Mr. Sure. Wang. Help yourselves. Wow, look at those adorable little cakes. Who bought them? Wang Ziyang. Wang Ziyang? Mm -hmm. The first officer of Dreamland. The dashing and considered first officer of Dreamland. So, does he know about Annie's family background? How could he not know? Everyone knows. Wow, what a brave man. He dares chase after Mr. Tang's little princess. He's got guts. Do you know about Wang Xiang's background? No clue. Me neither. But I believe that he's not ordinary. Yeah, for sure. He must come from a rich family. Mm -hmm. Uncle? Ziyang? Hey, why have you come back? Why didn't you tell us in advance? Last minute decision. Oh, oh my. Look at you. So handsome. Oh, come on. I'm going back to the village. I'll give you a ride. Thank you. Sure. Wait for a minute. Mm. Hey, sis. Mind the shop for me. Let me help you. No, I can do it. 
Uh, don't dirty your uniform. Sit on my coat. That's fine. Oh, no, no, no. Sit on it. Thanks. <laughs> Sit tight, okay? Mm. Siang, it's really been a long time. Does the village look any different to you? Many new houses, right? Yes. Hey, many villagers have built new houses these years. And my new house is really lovely. <sighs> Once we get back, all your aunts and uncles will be so excited to see you. Hey, Ziyang. What a fancy jacket. Don't put it on the ground, or it'll get filthy. It's all right. It's just a jacket. Just a jacket? It stands for something more valuable than that. Oh. I guess it makes my dad look good. Young, you should try to understand your father. It really wasn't easy for him to raise you. He has nothing to do with any of my achievements. All right. You've always been smart. Do you remember when we were in primary school? I was always having fun, and back then, though I was a grade higher than you, you were so clever. You helped me with my homework after finishing yours. Those were the days. The good old days. These days are good, too. You have a new house, a beautiful and nice wife, and you're expecting a baby. <sighs> right. My life is good now. Uh, anyway, here in this small village, having a house and family is good enough. <sighs> you're different, Zeyang. You're the most promising person from our village. Think about the life you lead. I believe your future will be even greater. Ziyang, dinner's ready. Oh, your uncle's come back. Yeah. <sighs> dinner's ready. Will you come and join us? Uh, no thanks. I've come to give Ziyang some fish. My family's waiting for me. Come join us, uncle. Sure. Then let me take the fish inside, huh? Mm. <sighs>
车启程，拥抱着辽阔海天。每一次看完，看万家灯火，人间团圆。每一次起航，最初永不消失的地平线，移动的海岸线，从天边到眼前。生命的延长线不再那么遥远。善良的夏天，善良了每一天。I love you forever， 一眨一世界。